Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals. And hospitals aren't the only place we need some quality improvement. Uh, I recently called my doctor's office and I got put into the, the voicemail queue. And here's the message. If you are experiencing a life-threatening medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you're a doctor, press one for the operator. If you would like to leave a message for one of our doctors, or their assistance, please press two now. If you would like to reach the reception and scheduling desk, please press three now. Now, uh, let, let's think about this message, right? What does this message say to me? Well, if you're dumb enough to call your doctor's office when you're experiencing a life-threatening medical emergency, then everybody else on the planet has to listen to us tell you that in the world's slowest voice. As opposed to, uh, you know, if, I don't know if this is a silly procedure that has to be done by everybody because it's idiotic, um, but it should at least be at the same level of anxiety as your patient. Your patient's freaking out, right? They think they're dying, it should say something like, if you think you're experiencing a life-threatening medical emer emergency, hang up, dial 911, right? It should just, we should just knock them out. But in general, that's a rarity. So maybe that's not the most important thing to say first. And then if you're a physician, press one to be connected with the operator. Well, what does that say? As a patient, what that says to me is some doctor that isn't even part of the practice is more important than I am. Their time is much more important than mine, right? And then if I wanna leave a message, for one of the doctors or assistants in the practice, press two. What makes you think I wanna leave them a message, right? I, I mean, usually I think it says talk to them, but you get there and they're all doing something anyway, so you're gonna end up leaving a message anyway. Uh, but again, I think that's a very small number of inbound phone calls. The last one is if you want to reach the appointment desk, press three now. And I would bet you that 80, 90% of the calls into that office are for appointments. So why don't we put that up front? So maybe it would sound a little bit differently. All right, so let's do this. So if you'd like to reach the appointment desk, press three now. If you're a doctor, press one to be connected with the operator. If you'd like to speak to one of our assistants and our physicians, press two now. If you're experiencing a life-threatening medical emergency, hey, you should have hung up and dialed 911. So I want you to think about what does your voicemail message say to your customers about how you think about them? Is it something that's really like embracing or is it something that's, oh, by the way, you're dead last and we'll get to you when we get to you. Does this make sense? All right, so I'm Jay Arthur. That's my improvement insight for this week. How can you let your voicemail message say the thing that you want your customers to hear.